Hey guys, I'm back with another video. I know it's been a hot minute, but life has just been so busy lately. Uh, but I have juicy Christmas candles from Bath and Body Works. So I was like, let me take a moment to sit down and film a video. So here we are. So yes, today the first like launch or preview of the holiday candles has dropped. Yes, it seems very early. Um, it's been nice because when I've been taking a break uh, from filming, I've been once again burning my own candles that I want to burn on my own time instead of thinking about the review schedule. And I've been burning a lot of spring and summer stuff just because it's been so warm out. Um, and it just, from a seasonal standpoint, it just matches the season and the weather so much better um, that I'm like, oh my God, this like feels right or natural again. Whereas we're like, I was burning Halloween in July and now we have Christmas in September and it's like still 90 degrees outside. So this season of switcheroo thing has just been really like playing tricks on me that it's just nice to kind of like burn what I feel like burning. Uh, but in any case, here we are in the holiday time. I can't guarantee reviews on any of these, to be completely honest, but I will haul them since they were available today. Um, and I had a 25% off coupon that my mother was gracious enough to give me, so I used that to uh, purchase them at the $13.95 price point. Um, and they come out to like, what, $10.46, $10.47, which is uh, quite reasonable and affordable for a like winter candle uh, this early in the season. Uh, so without further ado, let me get into it. Actually, wait, I need to back up. Um, there was the secret candle menu drop. I did participate in that. I was working that day too, so I just, once again, didn't have too much time to like sit down and do the whole hoopla with it. Uh, but I did purchase those, so I guess I'll talk about that first, and then we'll get into holiday. Um, so yes, Radiant Red Maple is indeed back. Um, here we go. Uh, that's what that looks like. We've already exhausted uh, how hideous this packaging looks, so we really don't need to talk about that anymore. But here it is and exists. Um, I did go in, uh, I think on my lunch break, the day that it came out, um, and there was still enough in abundance. Uh, but then I went in today to my local store to pick up the holiday candles, and uh, they actually got one more box of Radiant Red Maple in just like very recently uh so i did pick up another one right here uh so there's that that's actually the third one so on the first day that i did it for the secret candle menu drop or whatever it's called i purchased two of the radiant red maple and one of the pumpkin spice latte and twisted peppermint uh so radiant red maple the notes on this read crisp macintosh apple smoky woods hint of toasted marshmallow um it smells amazing it smells just like the original one it's awesome. It's that super sticky, sweet, almost like a caramel apple sweetness. Like the apple is so like syrupy sweet uh, and sticky mixed with that sort of marshmallow they get from Marshmallow Fireside. And it's awesome. Uh, I love it. Um, it smells just like the original one. Uh, as for the burn on it though, not super great. It has these really, really small like puny wicks. They used to use these uh, way back when. I haven't seen these in a hot minute from Bath and Body Works, but there they are on this uh, candle. Even though the original one did not use these wicks, the original one I think used the uh, a pretty big core wick that made the massive mushroom tops. So they actually changed the wicks on this. And the original one used to burn hot, vicious, and fast. Uh, this one burns very uh, problematically, where like on some burns, it just takes really long to pull out and it looks like it's kind of drowning. Honestly, haven't had too terrible of luck with the one that I have almost finished at this point. It hasn't drowned. I haven't had a cotton ball it, but it is very much a slow, sort of like wonky burn, uh, where it's not as hot and fast as a Bath and Body Works candle usually is. But I actually don't almost mind it as a trade-off because I don't have to trim the wicks and they don't like soot like crazy either. I just have to like have it pulling out for like three to four hours but I once again it's just like a light and go experience so I don't mind that um and it still gives me adequate throw. It's kind of just as strong as the original one was so I really have no qualms on it. I mean I wouldn't mind a little bit more of a vicious burn but honestly it's still performing fine so um yeah so I've been kind of like not wanting to burn my new stash because I only just bought two of them just because I was like, I still have a lot of that Marshmallow Fireside Black Cherry Merlot mashup that's kind of similar to it. But when I saw like another uh, ton of them, well, another six of them in my store today, I was like, let me just grab one more just to call a day and be done with it. So I'm happy to see this one back despite the sort of wonky burn and the uh, less than stellar packaging we see right there. Um, moving on, we have the Pumpkin Spice Latte and Twisted Peppermint candle, and that's what that looks like. Uh, this one's Pumpkin Pie Spice, Freshly Brewed Espresso and Cool Peppermint. Uh, this one I have burned, I think, two or three times. Honestly, not super enthused with this, with this candle, to be completely honest. It really does smell just like the name implies. You get the pumpkin spice latte, which is kind of like that sweet tiramisu fragrance we've got before. So it's not overly roasty or coffee like Paris Cafe is. There's a, like an espresso note that I really get that's not really rich or roasty. It's more like this sort of like creamy, 
uh, like creamy, milky, sort of gourmand, like sponge cake, plus a little bit of like a roasty fragrance, like a toastiness in the background. And then they added twisted peppermint to it, but the twisted peppermint, honestly, isn't super strong like yeah it's in there but when you go to burn it it's even more subtle the twisted peppermint than you would actually imagine um and it gives it just like this weird like oily like paint can vibes that like the crushed candy cane candle tends to get when it gets into the mid-range point and it starts smelling like kerosene and oily and disgusting uh it gives it that type of like flair or quality but there's almost like this oily peppermint fragrance mixed with just the pumpkin spice latte slash sweet tiramisu and i just really don't know what it's trying to accomplish or why this exists or why they thought this was necessary i don't know maybe because it's so out there they wanted to create a fragrance that was like sort of like sort of like out there on purpose just to drum up hype and buzz for the collection like kind of like it's so nasty they gotta you gotta get it type of way because otherwise i just don't really understand the need for this fragrance um it's a little bit similar to white mint latte from past years but it's not exactly that and i still think that one's a little bit more pleasant and well executed than this strange mashup mashup so this is total one and done almost to a point i really don't even need the first one but for collector's purposes i will get it and just burn it so that was pumpkin spice latte and twisted peppermint right there uh during that sale i think i had a coupon um and um, I'm actually going to visit my sister here in Japan in a few weeks, which I'm like beyond jazz for because I haven't been back to Japan since I was a very small child. Um, and to also be able to visit my sister over there and do stuff with her, I'm very, very excited about that. Uh, and so I've been kind of like um, stockpiling candles to bring uh, her when I go visit her over in Japan. Uh, and I found a blueberry pumpkin patch at that store that I went on my lunch break. And blueberry pumpkin patch has been like sold out uh, quite regularly at the majority of the stores I go to you really can't find any of that fall collection anymore and once again I think Bath and Body Works is actually trying is like intentionally like smart in doing like a very calculated amount of inventory or stock so they don't have so much left over for candle day or SAS I think any retailer their goal is not to have massive massive overstock that they have to discount and clearance out at so I think they monitor their inventory and their supply level is much better now where they kind of only send what is necessary rather than sending so much to stores that they have crazy overstock. So I think they're just better at gauging or monitoring how much production to do on the candles. And so that's why like this year we're really seeing like candles just like sell out and just move and be done with it and i think that's kind of what they want it's like a strategic plan to do that um and so that's why like a lot of these fall candles you just really don't see them left over anymore whereas like before i remember like during candle day you get like the majority of like the entire fall and winter collection all the way up to candle day but that is not the case anymore so i was like well i better grab this and she loved the pumpkin patch when it came out the first time so i'm sure she wouldn't mind a new pour of that so i did get that for her and that's what that looks like right there uh love this candle honestly like i probably wouldn't mind picking up another one for myself but i have two of them so it is what it is so blueberry pumpkin patch and yeah Okay, so that was the secret candle menu action day. Uh, and then let's fast forward to today with the $13.95 sale with the first uh, holiday launch. Uh, and I uh, actually have some of the next holiday launch, launch as well. The sales associate, thank you so much, at my local store was kind enough to uh, locate some of the newer ones. So we'll get into that later in the video as well. Uh, so the first one we have is from this collection, which is absolutely gorgeous. I love the labels on this. Oh my God, it's like this, like clear like almost like a cellophane kind of like glass treatment on the wrap there with the items in the foreground uh very 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 pretty and i think this is a plain silver lid uh we have cocoa roasted chestnuts uh roasted chestnuts cocoa powder and vanilla woods these are 26.95 i love that these have the really pretty wax color on the inside as well uh and that's what that looks like um yeah, this one, honestly, uh, it's a little bit more subdued or subtle than I thought. I thought this would be a lot more like bam in your face, like a very explosive Bath & Body Works bakery fragrance, but you don't really get that. Like, it's not really like hot cocoa and cream um, type of like, I was expecting that when you see cocoa, because when you think of cocoa, you think more like that cocoa powder, that sort of like dry powdery, a really chocolatey heavy sort of hot cocoa and cream fragrance. It's not really what I'm getting so much. Here, to be completely honest, um, it's more like a candy chocolate or like a chocolate shell. Think of like that chocolate marshmallow cloud chocolate really comes to mind. Um, or maybe even like dark chocolate truffle where it's a little bit more of that sort of like plasticky, waxy, like candy coating chocolate is what I get from it. So maybe think of like 
uh, like candy coating on a chestnut or a nut. So like chocolate covered nuts, I think is probably maybe where they were more so going with this fragrance. It's just like cocoa roasted. It's kind of vague or ambiguous as to, I guess, what that exactly is. I mean, I guess it's roasted by cocoa. I don't really know what a cocoa roasted chestnut is. But like a chocolate covered nut fragrance is what you get here. But even the, the nut is not anywhere near as like nutty as like, let's say the pistachio and toasted vanilla where you smell this and it's that like undeniable almond pistachio fragrance. You don't really get that either. And there's almost something slightly like inedible in the way that the vanilla woods comes off that it could, like it's almost like a body care interpretation. Kind of like, what was it? Chocolate covered cherries was a body care fragrance at one point and it's kind of gourmand, but also toes the line of being body care as well. It's like, once again, like a pretty gourmand fragrance. It's kind of what I get from Coco, Coco Rosa Chestnut. Yeah, interesting. Um, I'll have to see how it is. It's just not really what I was expecting, but it's honestly a little bit prettier or more, um, I don't know, just unique than I thought it would be. So I appreciate that. It's just kind of like sort of watery and subdued on cold. So I'll have to see how this one goes when it's burning. So Coco Rosa Chestnut right there, gorgeous packaging. Uh, also in that collection, Winter Pear Forest. The majority of your new ones are going to be in this collection. Once again, beautiful like ombre or gradient from like a dark, dark green to a like hunter medium green, as you can see there. Um, and that's what that looks like on the background. And the foreground has those snowy branches snatched. Beautiful. Uh, let's see. Wintergreen leaves, snowy pears, and a hint of cypress. Uh, and this one has the really pretty... Uh, green wax on there as well. This one has sort of like a lumpy or bumpy texture on the top of the candle. Sometimes the candles just tend to do that. I wouldn't be alarmed if you do see that. Like I've seen that many times throughout the past 10, 11 years or so. Okay, this one's nice too. Once again, this is kind of like soapy and could almost be body care. It's interesting how these are kind of turning out. Uh, this is once again kind of pretty. Um, it has a very sweet, juicy, distinctly pear, which is kind of similar to like a green apple fragrance, but more, more pear-like, I suppose. So you get a juicy, bursting fruitiness that I, I actually also kind of smells like pretty. And it's mixed with like a slightly like soapy, sappiness in the background. Yeah, that's nice. It's like fruity with a hint of green in the background. So, but it's not so much a lot of times their pear comes off smelling like vomity or like artificial like hairspray hair product i don't get too much of that so i appreciate how juicy the pear is so yeah we'll have to see how that goes but it like has the potential to be pretty so winter pear forest right there uh i think like they've very much noticed that uh the bath and body works shoppers love fruity fragrances so i think that's why they intentionally try to incorporate so much like juicy fruity stuff even in the winter time so even if it is a tree fragrance they tend to shove like a, a fruit fragrance in there similar to like how ice winter balsam is that way as well or i think even tree farm has like an apple note listed in it uh, i think that's very much intentional sometimes i do wish they had more straightforward green tree fragrances but it is what it is uh let's see Spice Citrus Grow. Honestly, I hate like citrus, uh, like spice citrus or pomander fragrances. Uh, so I was not sure how this would come across. Uh, ripe oranges speckled with cloves, cinnamon, and nutmeg. Remember that disgusting ass spice clementine candle that was out that one year? That orange like near iridescent foily wraparound uh, label. Oh my God, that smelled absolutely disgusting. It smelled like ashtrays and curry. Oh my God, it was awful. And there was like so much left over at SAS. Um, but how to report that this is not that. There was also some, oh my God, there was like some other Clementine spice fragrance, the same year that Cherry Mocha came out. And I really didn't love that either. And then we had bl that blue spruce and citrus or whatever that came out in a candle day collection like raspberry mimosa was in there as well and that merry maple pancakes uh it's not that either uh i believe this is a new fragrance uh but this one has a very it's not overly spiced there's a little bit of spice in there but it's not so heavily spiced as a lot of a lot of the pomander or clementine uh spice citrus spice fragrances tend to be uh the orange really comes across uh, as very juicy and ripe. It kind of, yeah, it smells, I guess it could be clementine, it could be orange. It's very juicy and bright um, with a hint of a spice in the background, but I would say the emphasis and focus on this is more on a very juicy, fruity orange, and I enjoy that. And it's that sort of like 
natural like orange juice like when you like peel a clementine or orange you get more of that sort of like natural juice fragrance rather than that sort of like artificial like chemical citrus orange cleaner fragrance that their oranges tend to do kind of like the fresh orange fragrance or sicilian orange from way back when has that sort of artificial cleaner uh sort of like harsh like yeah chemical feel to it this does not have that so i think that's why i appreciate it but just a hint of citrus uh and once again i mean it's a hint of spice but once again heavy emphasis on the fruit because I, I think once again they know that their customers love fruity fragrances so spice citrus grove right there uh, the other one I think that was new in that was Birchwood Orchard. And I was first interested in that and it has that beautiful neon pink packaging. But honestly, it was very, very, very similar to Applewood and Clove, which was not a terrible fragrance. I actually quite enjoyed that, but not enough that I need to get another one because it was just another like apple spice type of fragrance uh, that was like a more amped up intense version of pumpkin apple. Um, it was very similar to that. It was maybe like just a hair toned down from how spice spicy apple wooden clove was but very much a similar fragrance that it felt sort of redundant or repetitive that I didn't get that one and I think that's pretty much the extent of that collection once again most of the new ones uh exist there uh and I think white eucalyptus and sage or something might be online uh I don't know if that was maybe that was in store too but I don't care about that fragrance so we left that there um okay Moving on, uh, there's that whole White Barn uh, core collection, all repackages, so we don't care about that. The one new one that's out right now is, or not new, but of interest, is Cedar and Suede, which is previously in that sort of green glass lid candle, which smells very nice, but the version that I had from the original release was very, very, very light that I actually returned it. So I was like, I don't know if I want to take my chances again on it this year, uh, but it smells nice nonetheless. So that exists, but the rest of the other stuff is repackaged to the heavens. So we don't need that. Uh, my sister was requesting a like tree fragrance. Uh, so I was like, okay, let me, uh, but something that's not just straight up fresh balsam. So ice winter balsam, this one was not out yet, but I was able to snag it. Uh, and we have that in this collection. I think champagne toast and fireside and Christmas cider are also in this collection as well. Uh, and yes, uh, frozen eucalyptus, sugared pine and fresh balsam. This smells great. I love it. It's like fresh balsam mixed with their sugar lemon zest slash limoncello slash lemon drops fragrance, where it's that sort of sugary, sweet, zesty lemon fragrance mixed with fresh balsam. And it's uplifting, juicy, sweet, and awesome. And I like it. It's like a nice variation of fresh balsam. The only issue with, that I had with the original release was that it was very, very, very light. But it also came out again last year. And out now again this year. So it must have done really well. Uh, so we'll see. Uh, like maybe the throw will be improved. Or maybe she won't mind just because she doesn't burn candles as avidly as I do. But the fragrance is still quite nice. So uh, we got Ice Winter Balsam for my sister right there. Um, okay, so there was that. Let's see, what else? Um, we'll go into this nasty fish scale collection. I think that these are supposed to be hammered metals, but it looks like fish scales. Um, yeah, I don't, just not a huge fan of this. But once again, uh, being a designer of candles now, I very much realize that there are different tastes and people have different preferences. So you kind of have to cater to stuff all across the board. So uh, pistachio and toasted vanilla right there. Uh, salted pistachios, toasted vanilla almonds, and that is it. Um, let's see. This one, so you guys know, this was out... Was it last year for Candle Day in that, like, textile collection? And we all loved it. I think the island is supposed to match with pistachio cream puff that did not actually surface that spring that it was supposed to come out. But it did come out as a hand soap, and now it's here. Uh, and we all loved it. Super nutty, roasty, sort of like pistachio, uh, almond type of fragrance with like a creaminess to it and it's really toasty. It's super strong and awesome. Uh, the version from Candle Day was sooty as all get out. Uh, it had the massive core wicks on it with the huge mushroom tops. This year it has the flat curling wicks on it. So that's primarily the reason I picked it up to see if the performance would be different, but it still smells just as delicious as ever. Like since pistachio ice cream does not come out as a three wick anymore, this is the next best thing to that. Uh, the cherry almond shortbread hand soap is also very similar to that. So if you like that hand so if I think you'll enjoy this as well. Uh, so I did get another one of this one. I think I'm just down to like, I'm like burning the, the one leftover one from Candle Day and this will be the backup uh, that we have from this year. Uh, so pistachio and toasted vanilla right there. 
Uh, everything else in that collection was a total snooze fest. Falling flurries, frosted cranberries, uh, frozen lake. Don't need any of that mahogany balsam. Uh, moving on, Luminous uh, was available at the store, so I did pick up that, uh, and that's what that looks like right there. Uh, I think, like, they could have really put a gold top on this, and it would have been really awesome. Is this gold, or is this silver? Actually, I feel like I'm, like, losing my... I think that's sil... Oh my god, I can't even tell anymore. Yeah, I don't know, but maybe it's a gold lid and I just can't and I'm just blind. I don't know, but a gold lid will look nice. It looks nice with it. Um, whether or not it has a gold lid on it right now or doesn't, I really can't tell you. But in any case, Luminous. So the new body care that is supposed to uh, come out. Uh, I think this is like the holiday single fragrance launch that we will get. And that's what that looks like. It has like a lace texture uh, wraparound on it. Uh, and this one says Ruby Current Gilded Iris and Praline Amber. Honestly, it's just kind of like a very much a mature powdery uh, perfume fragrance is what I get from it. Nothing super standout or unique. It just smells like another like mature department store perfume is kind of what it smells like. Um, not too far off from Chasing Fireflies um, or like the D Dahlia. I don't know. They just all kind of run together and this is really no, nothing standout or different from all the other powdery mature perfume fragrances we've had from BBW before. Uh, total one and done, but I just collect them for fun uh, purposes. So luminous right there. Uh, nothing that's like, oh my God, wow, I need to like get a crap load of. Uh, let's see, moving on, um, we have this, like, cookie swap collection, or whatever it's called, Evergreen Lane, or, I don't, I don't even know, uh, Raspberry Thumbprint right here, I love the colored glass, and the, the label on this is super darling, I love it, I don't love how the lid, like, covers up part of the lid, but it looks nice there, um, and then it has a super juicy, didn't we have a lid similar to this on, like, a under the Christmas tree in a year past, that's what that looks like right there. Um, buttery shortbread, rich raspberry jam, sprinkled with powdered sugar. And it has the thick rope-like wicks with the white wax. These, I believe, are not slated to actually be officially out for, like, another two weeks, maybe. But, yes. I like it. Um, it's your standard Bath & Body Works raspberry bakery fragrance. Like, it's not too far off from Wildberry Jam Donut. It's also kind of similar to PB and J ice cream as well. Um... It's your standard kind of like, like straightforward raspberry jam plus bakery fragrance. The raspberry jam is very strong. It's almost like the raspberry jam is so sweet and tart that I could see like cherry being a note in here as well, even though it's not listed. Like a raspberry cherry filling or jam uh, with a little bit of like a, a powdered sugar undertone. Honestly, wouldn't mind more of that buttery shortbread and more of that sort of bakery uh, crumbliness. It does not come through a whole lot on cold, so I wouldn't mind if that was actually stronger. I'm hoping that will come through more when you go to burn it. But yeah, if you like, it is not Wildberry Jam Donut or PB&J ice cream, but in a similar family. But think a little bit more of like the cherry that you would get from a sweet cherry pie. Uh, similar to sweet cherry pie as well. Uh, kind of in that family. There was red, white, and blue cake. Red, white, and blue cake was a little bit more, I think, creamy, vanilla, cakey than this one was. But in that family. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. Raspberry thumbprint right there. It's kind of like the, that slot they have for like sweet cranberry pie or, you know, that type of stuff that we get during the holiday time. Uh, and then we have peppermint sugar cookie. I have two of these, uh, one for my sister uh, and then one for myself. I always pick this one up at least one, uh, each year and then I kind of don't like hoard it because I just figure it's gonna come back anyways uh, but super cute on this one as well and that's what that looks like color of glass and the juicy lid there crushed peppermint vanilla extract creamy butter and soft sugar cookies we've smelled this one I think I've bought it every single year it's come out uh, smells awesome it's that sort of like sugar to snickerdoodle base, which is not too far off from pumpkin pecan waffles, but more similar to sugar to snickerdoodle, uh, mixed with uh, a juicy like sort of peppermint vanilla fragrance in there. Kind of smells like a thin mint. Um, it's kind of like peppermint marshmallow meets sugar to snickerdoodle, and I love it. It always performs well. It's like cooling and refreshing, but also warm at the same time, and I love that contrast between those two type of uh, like feels. Uh, so peppermint sugar cookie right there. Uh, and lastly, um, 
my sister wanted some more candles. So I was like, I've been really enjoying the crap out of Cozy Sunday Night. And this one's a very nice like fall into winter transitional fragrance that will be nice for the time when I go to visit her. Uh, and so Cozy Sunday Night right there. I uh, actually really, really been digging this one. It's quite strong and I quite enjoy it. Warm cinnamon and crystallized ginger and vanilla bean. It burns fine too. It's like a prettier version of Cuddle Weather, but almost like even shoving a little bit of Perfect Christmas in there as well, in the sense that it has a spicy marshmallow creaminess that is reminiscent of Perfect Christmas, but then like mix a little bit more of that sort of like a ginger, gingerbread tea type of fragrance that you get from Cuddle Weather and mix the two together. And it's kind of like an elevated uh, Cuddle Weather that's also very much appropriate as a holiday fragrance as well. Uh, and it's just like cozy, spicy, and awesome. And I really, really have enjoyed this one. Uh, so Cozy Sunday Night right there. I think I, I like this one better than Cuddle Weather. Cuddle Weather. Uh, and I think that is it. I think I... Did I redeem a reward on a black chair Merlot shower gel? No one cares about that. I got a shower gel uh, for my sister to take over to her, so I redeem a reward on that. Um, anything else that I need to talk about on the BBW front? Um... Yeah, no, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, so yeah, I, I w I've been really enjoying like getting through my candles again in the past few weeks. Uh, but here we are with another, I think it was like eight candles for myself or something like that, plus the the Radium and Maple stuff too. So yeah, but in any case, that's pretty much it. Uh, thanks so much. Let me know all your thoughts down below. Did you buy Radium and Maple? Did it live up to the hype? Did it not? Let me know all your thoughts down below and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.